Glenn Keels, and we're in the OEM showcase at Intel's Nahalem announcement. We're just going to walk around, get, make our way to Unified Computing. Have uh, all the normal uh, vendors, uh, industry leaders, sign. Uh, of course, Dell is here, um, and they've refreshed their 11th generation. IBM is here, of course. Uh, very similar in types of servers, blade servers, rack servers, tower servers. HP is here. They're going to release some exciting news, but what we're here today is to talk about Intel. Okay. What Intel's doing today is releasing the Xeon 5500 series, which has breakthrough performance, breakthrough virtualization technologies, and breakthrough power efficiency. Um, in fact, if you take a look at what's out there in data centers today, around 30 to 40 percent are still old single core Irwindale systems. And now, with, the, with today's economic climate, those better, there's no better time than now to take a look at those and actually refresh them, consolidate both physically and virtually, and get an incredible return on investment, in many cases in eight months or so. Let's get into unified computing, though, because you see very similar servers. They all kind of look very similar. They're made out of metal. They've got hard drives, et cetera. So does unified computing, but it's dramatically different. It's designed to do two things for data centers of today as well as data centers of tomorrow. Radically reduce the total cost of ownership and dramatically increase the flexibility and speed of the data center as data center owners can turn up services faster and more efficiently. Okay? Really, really quickly, let's start off since it's Intel and the Halem Day. And we've actually got one of our first two Blade servers. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, some of these more in the, in the coming weeks. Um, this is the B200 M1 blade, and you'll notice two proudly positioned Xeon 5500 series processors. It's a half-width server, okay? Ours actually fits um, horizontally as opposed to vertically. Um, has two hard drives, of course, a console port. Generally, the same kind of a thing that you'd expect from a blade server, but what's really incredible to start with the differentiation, it's all based on unified fabric, okay? One, one, as opposed to three Nick Sandor HBAs in a half-slot server. One, either converged network adapter, virtual interface card, or um, actually a high-performance 10-gig Ethernet card. What does that mean for customers? It means a dramatic reduction in the NICs, the HBAs, the cables, et cetera, that you have to power, cool, manage, et cetera. Okay? Uh, this is the chassis. Very, very simple. Again, eight uh, B200 blades per chassis. Uh, four power supplies, all hot swap, etc. Um, up top here is, is a fabric interconnect. And when I talked about the simplification, this is an important point. If you take a look at the normal building block of blade data centers, 16 blades per building block, Unified Computing has 320 blades per building block. So you can decouple that complexity and really scale out much more efficiently. What does that mean in real terms, okay? Take a normal, let's say, 16-blade chassis, and you have I.O. bays, okay? Those I.O. bays have interconnects and switches in them, correct? Okay? 320 servers, all managed as one building block, one chassis, instead of <laughs> Let's say four or six in chassis interconnects or switches. What we have is a distributed line card, which is a fabric extender, okay? which dramatically, again, dramatically decreases the number of things that you have to power, cool, procure, secure. What we have is a distributed line card, which is a fabric extender, okay? which dramatically, again, dramatically decreases the number of things that you have to power, cool, procure, secure, and manage. Uh, what's your take on the you know, 5500 and the partnership with Intel? So it's been a great partnership, right, for several reasons, first of all. 5500 series is optimized for virtualization, which complements us perfectly. The Unified Computing System is actually a system that's designed to be optimized around virtualization, runs standard workloads as well as virtualized workloads, and the 5500 series from Intel does that as well. But on top of that, by working so closely with Intel, right, we were able to actually develop a very groundbreaking new technology in our expanded memory technology. Now, we'll be talking more about those details uh, in, the May in the April time frame, but it's that type of complementary work, working that close with a partnership that allows us to change the industry. Hey, so actually, we're, Cisco's so excited about Intel's announcement today. We even have the whole team here, Harris <laughs> Sussman and Paul Durzen. Um, again, thank you for the partnership, Intel, and congratulations on the Xeon 5500.
Congratulations. Congrats.